Hey, what's up? My name is Alex. I work for Run For Cover Records and this year we're starting a new series called Off The Radar where we get one creative person to recommend you five things you should check out. We want them to highlight people and projects they think deserve more exposure and something they think you'll be interested in. On the first episode, we've got a photographer based out of Boston called Evan Tetriol. He's actually a student at the moment. He's graduating this year, but somehow he's actually managed to find time to work with clients such as Puma, um, Urban Outfitters and a ton of other clients which is incredible for someone who's so busy with school. Through a mutual friend we actually got in contact with him and he agreed to meet up so here it is, first episode of Off The Radar. Um, artist that I think really deserves more exposure, well it's uh, two artists, um, they go by the name together Synchro Dogs, uh, it's a couple um, from the Ukraine. They've been so inspirational to me, I started like following them on Flickr when I was, you know, when I was like 14, 15, and they just came out with their first book a few months ago that I picked up immediately. Um, and they're amazing, just this this couple that shoots photos of each other, mostly um, just with point shoots, like the Contax T2, and um, it's just so creative and so appealing. Um, they can just be in you know a room with white walls and come up with the best like images. So they're really cool. They deserve more exposure. As far as music goes, I wanted to combine kind of music and visual with this. Hear me out on this. Uh, there's this group called, well, it's really this one uh, dude, but he goes by the name Movie Stars. I think he's from Amsterdam. And he makes incredible music that literally it, no one's heard of. He's, they're literally, to me, they're like the biggest band that no one's heard of. Like, their amazing production is incredible. He's an incredible voice, everything about it. And but they have like, a, you know, a thousand plays on SoundCloud. And he also makes the most amazing music videos that he totally you know directs and writes and everything so he's kind of guy no one's heard of and he's absolutely incredible all right for film uh, a documentary specifically that I've that deserves way more exposure that I've always loved I mean since a few years back is the devil and Daniel Johnston which profiles me um, you know, the musician and artist Daniel Johnston who has the most one of the most incredible stories I've ever heard you know he was put in an insane asylum this guy he was deemed crazy and schizophrenic and he made all these you know tapes playing the piano singing and they were thrown out and a guy working at the um, like a janitor at the at the you know, mental hospital found them years later and discovered him and like he kind of you know blew up after that and it's been this really you know huge and he draws and paints and all that and he's, and he's huge now um, even last year Supreme did a collaboration with Daniel Johnson you know I would never even put the two and two together but like he's gotten this really cool cult following um, he's awesome a book that I'm really excited about that I just ordered can't wait to get it is the Wes Anderson collection like a, a book came out and it's sick it's like all these like essays about like and like stuff he wrote before like it inspired the ideas of his movies and stuff and it goes in like chronological order of all this it's awesome wild card at least for me recently there's backdropsexpress.com <laughs> which is amazing I don't know I've been shooting a lot of experimenting with like more studio stuff they're fabric backdrops and then they're like patterned ones I mean you can get really creative I, I purposely ordered some you know like really cheesy 80s like marbled um, you know like Imagine like a 1992 school yearbook, you know, marble backdrop. You can get those, anything, and it's super cheap. Yeah, um, if you're looking to get any backdrops, really cheap, and like just, just yeah, feel uninspired and want to like shoot something and be able to shoot something really funny or cool or in interesting in your apartment or in your room, um, that's the place to go. 